Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Anime Over Analyst here, and today I'm going to be reacting to Schwabity's Jonathan Joestar Rap Ain't About to Break featuring McGuire. It's been a while since I've done a reaction to Schwabity. He usually makes music that I just cannot follow, but I figured I gotta give him a break, give him a chance, you know, come back, and maybe I'm become better at reacting, or maybe not, we'll see. And so... I figured I'd check this out. Now, I do know who Jonathan Joestar is. I did watch the first two parts of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I dropped it in the beginning of part three, but what can I say? Jonathan at least is interesting in the way that he is almost like a true Boy Scout. And that just comes to me, to my Boy Scout heart, because I'm an Eagle Scout myself. And so I kind of sympathize with this character a little bit because he just wants to do the right thing. He just wants to be good. So, yeah, I, I do actually understand him. I know he gets a little bit of hate, but I don't hate him at all. Um, but, yeah, we got Maguire produced by Inoue Kun and edited by Blacks and thumbnail art by Shoto Todoroki. All right, that's enough of me blabbering. Let's jump into this. Here, let me turn this up for you guys a little bit. All right. Ooh, I like the little uh, McGuire vocals in the background there. Just kind of cutting it. I like how we went down there, the whole never gonna break. I'm liking the more emotional vibe of this song. This is one of the things that I've always said Schwabity does amazing, is make emotional type music. And, I mean, we have McGuire on the hook, so McGuire's fantastic when it comes to emotions. And if you know, I do a lot of McGuire reactions. This sounds so much like a lot of his own original songs, which... I am also partially, uh, what's the word, not proud, but I had it on the tip of my tongue and then I lost it, but I I like how he, we're going more of what uh, McGuire's kind of pop feel with his own original stuff more than the whole kind of soul vibe. We still got the slight soul vibe that other nerdcore artists like him using when he's featured on the song, but it's not nearly as much as, say, like the Dobby rap or, um, yeah, DPS's Dobby rap or Rustage's uh, ReZero song, ReZero rap. You know, it doesn't have, like, that kind of soul vibe. It's more of, like, this kind of blend between soul and jazz, which is kind of where McGuire has his own footing. And so I like that. It's almost like I'm tasting his own original stuff here instead of someone else's interpretation of his stuff. It's really nice. Yeah, I'm never gone. Yeah, I'm never gone. Closest I had to the most Why right? is smoke and they burn in your throat? Yeah. How did a brother get turned to a fool? I know we pick it, I know that we different The sins that you bought that your pen is in throw Once it would have that it told me seven Now that I'm haunted by several ghosts Shoulders hold the wall Wow Don't know if it is be sad But there is life in my blood And it comes in waves in my breath I'll never wait here for death That's a homily in a set As long as life is in my blood I'm here to face any threat Wow Oh my gosh I'm, I'm really loving the whole emotional aspect that Schwabity is putting in this. It's giving me a lot of the um, the Beastars song that Connor Quest put out, where hit, Schwabity's tone is almost the exact same from that one as in this one, and he was Predator in that song. And it was just kind of like a whole, like, or, or was he Victim? Actually, now that I think about it, I think he was victim because he's... I remember one of the lines is like, I'm not a statistic in a file. Yeah, something something along those lines. And I'm getting the exact same type of vibe here where it's like... 
come on, man. Like, I know we were brothers, but stop this. Stop being so freaking evil because, you know, you got G Dio being Dio. <laughs> By several ghosts. Shoulders hold the weight of the dead. Shoulders hold the weight of the dead, man. Wow. And I like how he's ramping up here. Wait, what was that? Something about uh, lowering a homie in the grave. As long as life is in my blood, I'm here to face any threat. Part one, you get Part folded one. in yep. the day. I can't get take folded. the toll of lowering a homie in the grave. I, I can't take the toll of lowering a homie in the grave. Ow. Ow. Wow. And the way he delivered that, you could, I could believe him. The way that he's saying it, because he's going with this more... He's not going the aggressive schwabity that we're really used to. He's going more of the sentimental, like, I just want to talk to you type schwabity. And like I said, this is my favorite personal type of schwabity. Everybody has their own favorites of schwabity, but I love this type because I I hear his words so much more because it feels like he has some sort of background where he he's really pulling from and so that's why like these songs like these i'm constantly like r running up on spotify i'm constantly just listening to that and like the wonder egg priority song both versions i love those songs so much in a set. as long as life is in my blood i'm here to face any threat part one you get folded in the day i can't take the toll of lowering a homie in the grave i could fake and act okay but i can trade this life away can i deal with all the weight of holding on to others fates nah people need a champion i've been there no for deadly presence i don't give right never been a fan of vital chit chat hold patience when you get clapped from fist to life will stream don't need to clip that Ooh. And I like how he came on with McGuire and now their vocals are blending so much more together. I love that. Sorry, just when he came on with the vocals and his vocals blended with McGuire's, it just sounded so good. So, so good. I really want to run that back because I just love that blend there so much. Because you can really, really feel what they're talking about. Where it's just like, he's taking on this role of trying to be a hero. And he's seeing, you know, his friends die. He's, it, it's putting a lot of strain because he's put he's everybody's fate is resting in his on his shoulders so i really like that oh, whole concept got the money on the brain i mean that's just like trying to be a father figure you know or just trying to live life We just live for what? Do I live to work? Do I live to hurt? Wanna Ooh. live to love? Do I live to learn? Wanna live above this violent world? Don't let it take me up. They'll make it burn. Ooh. I cut through the darkness that clouds up my mind. I use it to harness all the power inside. They turn. Wow. I like that inclusion of McGuire on the vocals there, just really adding that whole, like, I'm fighting through the darkness type of vibe. Like, I'm loving almost the whole theme of this is just, I will not break. Literally, what the song is, is like, I've it's him trying to convince himself, like, yes, there's this shit going on. I'm going to persevere. I'm not going to back down. I've got to keep on going. And I just love that mentality so much because it's so hard to keep that mentality forward. And it's songs like these that I swear we need on a daily basis just to be like, yes, we got to keep on going. <sighs> Sorry, this is actually hitting a little closer to home than I thought.
mainly because I've been struggling with a lot of doubt these past couple uh, weeks. A lot of doubt. And so, it's almost like I really needed this song to try and help push me forward and trying to trying to get this channel back up on its feet because I want to do things that's not just reactions and it just feels like all of my other content has gotten stale I don't have the motivation to be doing a lot of my other content that I want to do and that's been quite rough honestly it's been it's been tearing me apart because I don't know what I wanted to do and so last night, I kind of started the, getting a chance of doing something different. I started streaming near Automata on Twitch, and that helps too. So I guess plug in, got the whole Twitch thing down here, as well as the fact that um, my Talking Nerdcore podcast, where I go and talk with uh, nerdcore artists about anime, things like that. I just love doing because it's not just reactions it's something completely different and it feels like i can actually live up to the name of the channel mostly that talking nerd court podcast like i just dropped an episode with sideway fox this week and i'm in this next week i'm going to be dropping an episode with night of breath and the following week it's going to be another fun episode i'm not going to spoil that one just yet because i have not done the recording and so I won't go into who that other one is, but I'm looking so much forward to that. I will say we're going to be talking about ReZero, and so that one I'm just super hyped about, but none of that has to deal with JoJo's or really Schwabity anyway. I just wanted to put all that out. I've been needing to plug my own stuff, but I'm not really good at plugging my, my own stuff, uh, as you can tell, but... Let's just continue with the song. Yeah, I'm never gone. Yeah, I'm never gone. Yeah, I'm never gone. Break. Nihilistic rut. Nihilistic rut. I, I know I rewinded so far back, but I really just want to hear this again. Do I live to learn? All these questions. I feel that. I cut through the darkness that clouds up my mind. I use it to harness all the power inside. Wow. We turned emotion into a stone mask. Wait, was that we or they? They turn emotion into a stone mask. Man, that whole, I just, that whole start off right there with they turn emotion into a stone mask is, I, I love that because of the whole thing facade issue where like sometimes it's easier to just not feel anything just to feel numb and putting on that kind of stone cold mask I've felt that a lot and sometimes when I'm out in public I put on that stupid ass facade and that drives me nuts um but it's something that you know we all do just to try and put on appearances and so I like the whole like just stop it. Smash it. They turn emotion to a stone mask. We smash that shit and climb so high. This peak is looking snow cap. This peak is looking wow. They move in full stone more cap. This fist is like a pistol. Watch it hit the prick at bomb back. Wow. Violence is a last resort. Always generous. Get way more than you're asking for. I love that. Well, violence is a last resort. That's. I love that. I love that because you don't always have to reduce to violence. Be generous. Like, I love that mentality. It's like, stop trying to be vicious. Stone mask, we smash that shit and climb so high this peak is looking snow cap. That's no cap. Don't hold back. They move in full stone more cap. This fist is like a pistol. Watch it hit that prick get blown back. Yeah. But violence is a last resort. Always generous. Get way more than you're asking for. Move against my family. Won't stand it. This an act of war. Even if I die, family ties. I'm going to pass the talk. Man. Trying to run around town and take off my crown. All these people up against me, but I'm not going to stop. Never gonna break. 
you can tell it's been forever since I've reacted to a solid Schwabity song. And I, I'm not saying solid as in his songs aren't solid. It's more of a... I just haven't really given him a chance recently. And I even posted a tweet several months back saying I wasn't going to do any more reactions to his. Because I just... I couldn't wrap my head around his stuff. And I felt like I was discrediting him. And I didn't want to do that. And so that's why I stopped doing reactions of him specifically. But I'm glad that I took uh, took the time to check this out and give him another chance. And I guess give myself another chance to listen to him. Because I wouldn't have discovered this beautiful song without it. So I'm going to just leave a like and say this song is beautiful. I love what you two did with it. Alright, so that's going to be it for this reaction. I hope you all take care. Like I said, uh, check out my ReZero, I'm sorry, check out my Talking Nerdcore podcasts. I drop every Tuesday. And, oh, I also got a, a Kingdom Hearts v theory video that I dropped last night that's about 12 and a half minutes long. It's all pretty much talking about Kingdom Hearts 1 logic for the most part. So, um, check that out. If you haven't played any of the other games, you don't really have to worry about any of the other games. You can just focus on that one. And, um, yeah. With all that being said, I'm the Anime Overanalyst, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.